We're going to go out to the Plains. Big Cat Weekend is here. They got some key targets on campus, including Edge Jared Smith, who is set to make a decision right here on the On3 Recruits channel on August 3rd. Going to be a big day for commitment, so you guys are going to want to be subscribed. Uh, Jared Smith trending heavily to Auburn at the right time, Steve. Yeah, this is the weekend that started it all, that's made us so busy this week, Josh. Big Cat weekend, getting prospects on campus in an environment that's more like a barbecue, three-legged races. I don't know if they're going to be racing with eggs on spoons, pie-eating contests, the whole nine. Uh, uh, Auburn top recruits getting a chance to hang out with uh, coaches and their families in an environment that's fun. And it's been duplicated across the country since then. Jared Smith, love where Auburn stands there. At one point, I uh, was very high on South Carolina's position there. Uh, but my on three RPM is on Auburn for Jared Smith, who's going to announce early next week. And uh, Auburn pushing for a second straight top 10 class. Him and his teammate Anquan Feagans would be big in that pursuit. Yeah, and speaking of Anquan Feagans, he's going to make his decision here on February, uh, February, on July 29th. Sorry, on July 29th, Anquan Feagans right here on the On3 Recruits channel. Now, if Auburn fans had any concern over his late visit to LSU this weekend, they're going to be happy to know that Feagans will be back on the planes for Big Cat Weekend as well. Do you think this locks it in for the Tigers? Well, this they've been the one to beat for a long time, so it's up to LSU to change that uh, pulse in the recruitment this weekend. I think that's a lot to ask. I think there's been a lot of things moving behind the scenes in favor of Auburn as he gears up for his announcement. Um, certainly excited about the Hugh Freeze era at Alabama. They were at the Iron Bowl this past year. They've been to campus a bunch, and uh, he thinks he can make a real impact on a program that's on the rise. Right. Why not? All right. Now, quarterback Blake would be. He decommitted from Ohio State in mid-May, and ever since then, Auburn's made a concerted effort to land him. It looks good. He's going to be on campus this weekend. Do you have Blake would be on commit watch? I think he's going to be in the class for for Auburn. Thought that way since his official before his official visit in June. Now he's back for Big Cat Weekend, and it's setting up nicely for the Tigers. All right, um, twenty twenty six targets on the planes. Who you watching? Yeah, it starts with Hezekiah Harris, one of the most coveted edge rushers in the land, logged an on three RPM in favor of Auburn last week to land Hezekiah Harris. Then you got a couple linebackers, Shatarius Tootle and Jamichael Garrett. Uh, I have an on three RPM in favor of Auburn for Tootle. I'll probably have one on Garrett by the end of the weekend. He's got a big visit to LSU. LSU has been making that recruitment interesting, but working that recruitment with my colleague, Chad Simmons, sounds like it's still good for Auburn as it stands right now. 